Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Teacher Max, and welcome to my program tonight with Teacher Max. Okay, so tonight is a very special night to say I'm reuniting with one of my very good friends, one of my former colleagues, the Malayan High School of Science. Okay, so welcome again everyone to tonight with Teacher Max. Him today, napakaganda ng ating pag-uusapan. Kaya I'm very sure eh, may enjoy nyo ang ating one hour program dahil marami tayong matututunan sa ating special guest tonight, okay? At kung maalala ninyo na nilagay ko nga sa ating teaser na ang topic natin for today ay paano maging malupet sa LEP, okay? For those who do not know what LEP is, it is a licensure exam for teachers. Ayan, so kung ikaw ay magtitake ng LEP at ikaw ay uh, graduate ng college ng Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education, pati elementary education, eh, para sa iyo ang programang ito. Kaya naman, i-welcome na natin ang ating special guest for tonight na isang let top nature. Woo! <laughs> okay, so everyone, let's all welcome Miss G! <laughs> Hi! Ayan, Hi, okay. everyone. Ayan, so ang guest natin tonight ay si G, na aking former colleague na mali yung high school of science. Doon kami nagkakilala. Anong year nga ba yun? Hello, hindi ko na alam. Do you remember? Okay. 2008? Yeah, yeah. I think around 2008. Ah, tama, tama. 2007? 2007. Doon kami nagkakilala ni Ms. G. Kaming dalawa ang English teachers na mali yan. Yes. Yeah. Naalala mo pa anong 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 grade level, anong year level yung tinuwa yun? Uh, dalawang first year, tsaka mm -hmm. second year. I see. Ayan. So, let's make a special shout out sa ating mga students. Ayan. Na maaring manonood din today. So, meron lang tayo. Let's all welcome our guests tonight. Please say hi to them, Grace. So, far, the comment is Janine. Hi, Janine. Hello. Ayan. So, welcome to tonight with Peter Max. Ayan. So, very exciting. So, first, I would like to thank you, Grace, for taking time of your busy schedule nga ba ngayon? <laughs> Actually, hindi. <laughs> Ayan, taking time of your schedule para makasama kita dito ngayon sa tonight with Mr. Max. Actually, guys, it's yung first time din namin mag-uusap after so many years. Kasi after na umalis sa Malayang High School of Science noon, eh, tuloy-tuloy na rin. Ah, medyo nag na wala rin ang communication, no? Kasi marami din teachers ang umalis. Tapos, uh, ito, Okay, so let's start with teacher Grace. Okay, let's show you how to play her Grace. Okay, let's start with the question. Okay, Miss G, who are you? So please tell our audience who you are. Ayon! Ayon! Hindi ko na sabihin yung buong pangalan ko, ah. Kasi baka i-ano ano nyo. <laughs> Char. <laughs> Ako, uh, I'm a simple housewife. Wow. Wow. Trans lecturer ako for the longest time. Pero I've been employed for a year na in a review center. So, ang specialty ko talaga ay mag-lecture for the licensure examination. During our time, ang tawag pa dyan ay let. Actually, ngayon, kapatid, hindi na siya let. Ay, hindi na ba siya let? Oh my God. Ano nang tawag? Pero marami pa rin na ang tawag is let. Ngayon, ang tawag ay let. Licensure examination for professional teachers. Ah, okay. Na tumatawag na let. Oo, maganda na daw ang katingan ngayon. Professional na. That's why, if I remember it, naglabasan yung mga pumasa sa let, naglagay ng parang John Irving Macam LPP. Oo, yan. Meron ng ano, addition na sa pangalan nila na LPT, Licensed Professional Teacher. So, yan ang aking buhay for the longest time. I think I've been in the lecturing industry for 10, 11 years already. Wow, really? More than a decade na pala. Oo, mga ganyan. So, medyo matagal na rin. So, yan ang aking pinagkakabalhan for as of the moment. Yeah. Okay. So now, nalaman na natin kung sino si Miss G. So si Miss G ay isa sa ating former colleague sa Malayan High School Science. At the same time, isa siyang lecturer ngayon sa isang degree center. Okay, for 
LED review. Tama? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the LED, yeah. kailangan naman yung LED. Yeah. Yeah. For, for, for LED review, ayan. Kasi nga, uh, isa sa actually top notch sir. Para wala may iniwala sa akin. Yeah. Pag-usapan natin mamaya yung pagiging top notch sir mo. Paano ka ba naging top notch sir? At syempre, dahil naging top notch sir, hihingi ang ating mga audience sa iyo ng ilang tips and techniques later. Okay? Pero bago tayo pumunta sa meat ng ating discussion today, okay? Ang next question ko sa'yo ay about your social media presence, okay? Kasi guys, alam niyo naman na ang ating guest today ay mayroong YouTube channel and Facebook page, okay? And actually, mas kilala siya sa Facebook page ko ngayon na nagmamahal Miss G, okay? So, what motivated you to start a Facebook page or like be present sa social media? Yung Facebook page ko, parang one year ago ko na yun kinreate, pero hindi ko siya masyadong nagagalaw. Parang kinreate ko lang yun kasi nasobrahan ako ng friend request sa Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so, hindi na ako maka-accept. So, sinasabi sa kanila, pag hindi ko kayo na-accept, you can just like yung page para at least updated pa rin sila sa mga activities ko, mm-hmm. the lecture, etc. Tapos, hindi ko na siya masyadong nagagalaw. And then, nag-start ako mag-YouTube. Uh, na nag-YouTube ako, hindi ko alam kung anong content yung ilalagay ko since hindi rin ako masyadong matambay sa YouTube. Yeah. Hindi ako funny person. So, hindi ako... <laughs> 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 hindi rin ako sobrang serio. So, hindi naman ako masyadong nag-makeup. So, naanohan ako kung ano yung content na ilalagay ko. Yeah. And then, usually, nung recently lang, nung nag-quarantine, naisip ko sa sarili ko, mahilig akong mag-hugot-hugot. Ganyan. <laughs> Karamihan ng friends ko, mga teachers. So, naisip ko na why not mag-post ng mga teacher who got. Tapos, yun. Ang daming nakarelate dun sa Facebook page na yun. And ever since, nung quarantine lang, imagine parang one and a half month lang yata ago, naka, nagkaroon ako ng 7,300 ganyan na. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Dahil dun sa mga spoken word poetry at saka dun sa... Yeah. Good. Ayan. Okay, so bago mo ituloy yung sinikwento mo, Grace, okay, may nag-comment lang ng isa sa ating mga kaibigan, si Ma'am Jenny yeah! Bicuayo, straight from Doha, Qatar. Ayan. Hi, Miss Jen. Sabi niya, happy to see you both, mga dekalibreng guro ng MHS. Yes, ayan. <laughs> Salamat, Miss Jen. Hello, continue watching. Okay, so bago mo ituloy yan, ipakita natin siyempre sa kanila yung page mo, okay? So, i-share lang natin para naman makita nila at kung hindi pa sila nakakapag-like, eh, ma-like na nila ang iyong Facebook page, okay? So, ito na siya. Wait na. Okay. Ayan. Okay. So, nagmamahal Miss G and it has, currently has 7,000 likes. Okay. So, so far, nabanggit mo, naging maganda yung response doon sa iyong spoken word poetry. Di ba? So, itong quarantine period lang ba ko talaga nag Hindi ako actually marunong mag-spoken word poetry. Mm-hmm. Tapos, tinry ko lang. My first spoken word poetry was yung guro. And then, nagulat lang ako na maraming shares, maraming nag-like, maraming nakarelate. So, na-encourage ako na gumawa ulit. Tapos, yun. Ano na? Nag-tuloy-tuloy na siya. Yeah. Oo, oh, may quarantine na. Kasi maraming time. <laughs> <laughs> At saka maganda kasi doon sa page ni Miss G, Miss G, guys. Kung hindi nyo pa nabivisit, eh talaga makakarelate lang. Kasi based on experience, eh, talaga yung mga hugot ng nagmamahal. Ayan. Okay guys, so uh, para, parami nang parami yung ating viewers habang uh, uh, tayo nagsisimula. So please, don't forget to comment. Okay, kung meron kayo mga questions or kaya gusto ko pa yung clarification na itanong si G or maski sa akin kung meron kayo mga gustong question na itanong. Ayan. So, so welcome, welcome sa ating programa tonight with me. Okay. So ngayon, Miss G, okay, ngayon na uh, maganda ang yung social media presence. Okay? Wow. We're trying to take advantage of that to reach more people. Okay? Kasi ay, pareho tayong teachers, we want to help teachers pass the board exam or the licensure exam for professional teachers. Tama? <laughs> okay. Yes. So, gusto nga ang ngayon, 
how was your net journey? Okay, guys, nabanggit ko kanina na top matcher si Miss G. Grabe, ibang level. Ang unang tanong natin, Miss G, anong rank mo nung nilabas na ang result ng net? <laughs> ano, I was blessed to have rank third sa licensure examination. Wow! Yeah. Tanggali! Parang <laughs> bagay! <laughs> Okay, so how how was it? How did you learn about the result? And like, ano yung una mong naramdaman? Nalaman mo na, oh my God, top natural. Nung time na yun, na nirelease yung result, papunta ako sa seminar natin or workshop sa Makati. Tapos, naglalakad ako nun papunta sa MRT station. So, sa mga marunong mag-commute, pag baba mo ng Pasay, medyo malayo-layo pa yung lalakarin mo, diba? So, baba ko ng bus <laughs> kasi galing ako ng Cavite. Lakad ako. Tapos bilang may nag-text. Tutututututut. Yan. Yeah. <laughs> 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 tayo na nakiya pa yung phone natin. <laughs> Yan. Yeah, mga ano, pag, pagkita ko dun sa, ano, sa, resu- sa, sa message, galing siya sa advisor namin. Si Ma'am Orencia, one of our advisors dun sa uh, section namin sa PNU. Tapos ang sabi niya, congratulations, meron daw na top sa amin. So syempre, minessage ko siya kung sino. Tapos sabi niya, ang top one daw, si Angelo at si Macy. I don't know if they're watching, pero si Angelo at si Macy, top one namin siya. So parang sabi ko, oh, silang dalawa lang yung nag-top. Sobrang lungkot ko. Hmm. Tapos, naglakad ako ulit, praying na, Lord, sana kung hindi man po ako nag-top, sana at least Pumasa. Yeah. At tumunog ulit yung cellphone ko. Tututututut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tumunog ulit yung cellphone ko, yung advisor ko ulit. Tapos sabi niya, meron din daw na hindi na top 1, pero nakarank hanggang top 10. So, sabi na excited na ako. So, hindi mo na ako nag top 1, baka may chance, di ba? So, ayun. Tinanong ko siya kung ano yung, kung sini-sini yung nag top. And then, she sent the entire list. Tapos nandun yung pangalan ko. Sobrang saya ko during that time. Imagine, ano yun na, ah, highway yun na. Ah. Yes. Yeah. Tapos, <laughs> tinanong ko kung saan naka, ano, nakalathala ba? Yes. Yeah. Kung, yeah. ano, kung saan na-publish. So, sabi sa Manila Bulletin daw. So, mm-hmm. I was, ang hinarap ko kung saan yung merong Manila Bulletin na, ano, na Jario. And then finally, I got hold of the copy ng Manila Bulletin. Sobrang saya ko lang. Yeah. Was it ever your goal yeah. na, was it ever your goal na maging top natcher or, talagang pumasa lang ang goal mo? Or talagang part no. siya talaga? I really wanted to top the board exam. Mm. So, um, inalagaan kami ng PNU. We were really encouraged na mag-top sa board examination ng president ng PNU. Tapos nagbigay siya ng cash incentive sa lahat ng wow. mag sa board examination. So sa lahat kami, nung nag-take kami ng board exam, talagang kinarear namin. Dahil hindi dahil sa cash. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Pero kinirin yun talaga namin kasi nga sa PNU, yearly, merong recognition sa lahat yeah. ng sa board examination. Tapos parang nagbibiruan kami lagi ng mga kabarkada ko, kasama tayo dyan sa sunod. So talagang kinarin namin mag-top so, sa board. So meron kayong ano, may patarpuling ba ang PNU para sa inyo? Oo! Pero ang doon namin <laughs> nag that time, I think 20 plus kami na nag so, maliliit lang yung mga ano namin, mga 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 So, can you share with our katwitums, that's how I call pala my guests, okay? Can you, can, can you share with our katwitums, paano lang nagsimula yung ano, yung, yung that journey mo para maging top nasher? So, did you go outside PNU ba for, for a review center or PNU lang yung review center mo? And then, how was like the review? How, how was the review like? During that time, until ngayon naman, ang PNU meron silang tinatawag na in-house review. Like lahat ng uh, graduates ng PNU, uh, nabibigay naman sila ng free na lecture, na review para sa lahat ng mga yun nga, nakagraduate. Pero during that time, since sobrang bata ko pa, parang papasok lang kami, tapos pag gusto namin yung lecture. <laughs> <laughs> Ano <laughs> pag hindi namin kasi yung lecturer, you know, yung mga usual yeah. problems. Kasi PNU is back-to-back lang siya ng, ano, na SM Manila. Yeah. <laughs> Review kami sa SM Manila. Pero ano kasi, um, kahit na ganun kami during the review sessions na pinrovide ng PNU, siguro kasi naka-add din sa hindi kami masyadong nagseryoso doon is because 
sila rin yung mga prof namin. So parang kilala na rin namin mm-hmm. yung tinturo na masyadong ano, knowledgeable. Ano. Pero sinabi, sinabi lang namin sa isa't isa na talagang kumuha kami ng materials and then we do group review. Tapos kami magbabarkada. Kami talaga yung nag-aral sa isa't isa na Q&A. And mm-hmm. Maganda sa PNU, during that time, I think wala na ngayon, pero that time, nag-open sila ng tinatawag na Top the Test Program. Mm. Tapos lahat ng mga cum laude, manya cum laude, parang wala yata ang suma cum laude during that time, pero mm. lahat potential mag-top support exam, for one week, hinaus nila kami sa isang resort sa Laguna. Tapos, Kagang pinrovidean kami every day, every night ng ano ng mga reinforcement na lecture. Kaya siguro during that time sobrang dami talaga ng nagtop sa board exam. Yeah, not only that, of course, PNU talaga is the university. University ba siya? Well, uh, no, or school? Yes. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, university nga siya PNU come on. <laughs> Okay, not only that PNU ano, ba, specializes talaga sa education, pero siguro nasa school din yan, di ba, kung paano niya aalagaan yung mga okay, mm. para sa board exam. And nap- napakaganda ng ginawa ng PNU sa inyo. Pero bago natin ituloy ang napaka-exciting na journey mo, eh meron tayong isang shout-out dito. Sabi ni Aya, is that Aya or Ia? Yeah, yeah. Ella. So you can read it, please read it. Sabi niya, hi Nai Gracie, watching you all the way from the UAE. Keep shining and inspiring. God bless with a lot of emoticons. Yes. <laughs> Alam mo ba na si Ia, siya yung top two namin sa batch namin. Oh, hi Ia. Congratulations. Oh. Ayan. So Ia. Um, siya na lang interview mo. <laughs> <laughs> so Ia, feel free to comment lang, di ba? So syempre, later mag-share si Grace. Kung meron kang gustong idagdag sa mga sinasabi ni Grace, feel free to comment na like, feature natin yung comment mo. So thank you ah, very international ang ating audience. Meron tayong from Qatar, meron tayong from UAE, I'm sure meron tayong from Philippines and Japan. Ayan, so worldwide ang ating programa tonight. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. And then, like, what do you call this? So, in-in-house kayo ng PNU, di ba? Were, were you given, like, uh, so, what do you call this? You were given extra materials that other reviewees were not given. Tama ba? Ay, parang you're making it sound unfair. Hindi <laughs> naman. I mean, what do you call this? I mean, not, not necessarily. I mean, PNU students, di ba? Kasi di ba, if ever, ba pili lang kayo sa PNU? Hmm. Oo. Pero parang itong materials na to, meron kaming isang head coach. Si Professor Shirley Equipato, who is already my boss right now sa Review Center. Siya yung boss ko ngayon. Tapos, um, madami siyang, ano, dahil meron siyang Review Center, marami rin siyang resources. So, I don't know, hindi ko maalala kung may Review Center na siya during that time. Pero, ang dami rin na-provide talaga sa amin ng mga questions. Tapos, siya yung nag every night. So, ang key talaga is not just puro lecture, but Q&A. Mm. So, more practice okay. din talaga, eh, no? Yes. Yeah, I see. Okay, so napakaganda ng led journey ni Ms. G. At ang nakuha ko dito is that, parang, in order for you not only to pass led, but to really ace it and be a top notch, you mm-hmm. have to prepare for it. So, actually, yeah. mga katitams, bago tayo nag-broadcast ng live, I was telling place na na-realize ko noon, hindi ko sineryoso yung pag-review, okay, during the... In, prepare, in preparation for left. Kaya naman di rin ako nag-top nature. <laughs> wow! Pero ang taas pa rin ang rating. <laughs> pero, uh, what do you call this? Hindi, hindi rin, wala rin sa goal ko ang maging top nature during that time. Gusto ko lang, gusto ko lang pumasa. Pero ngayon na-realize ko na parang mas maganda rin pala no, na meron pang goals na sinaset para sa sarili mo. Not only to pass. Kasi diba, parang iba rin yung, iba kasi yung meron kang ini-aim. Diba? You're, you're pushing yourself to the limit. Yeah. Okay, so ngayon guys, marami tayong matututunan mula kay Miss G dahil bibigyan niya tayo ng ilang mga tips and techniques okay, on how to really do well sa licensure exam for teachers. Pero syempre disclaimer lang na it doesn't mean na automatic napapasa na kayo ha? because it's still new, <laughs> di ba? So there are so many available resources pero maganda makakuha tayo ng direct from a, a, a top nature from from left okay so ilalabas ko lang ang ano is chi okay 
Is G ready ka na ba for your presentation? Uh, wow, grabe. Okay. Yeah. Wearing thesis defense. Okay. Ayan. So, tinaw ko lang siyang gold. Nung in-invite ako ni Sir Max, ni Teacher Max, kung ano yung masashare ko na technique, sabi ko, hindi ko masashare lahat kasi of course, I am working in a review center. So, yes, yes. patekal ako. Sabi ko lang, I'll just give a few tips na usually ko naman na binibigay sa lahat ng mga uh, gustong mag-enroll dun sa review center, even sa during the marketing phase of the review. So, this is called gold. Sinamarize ko lang kasi medyo mahaba to eh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Gold. So letter G. Okay. Uh, should I go to the next slide? Oh yes. <laughs> I, okay. G, it's go for the gold. So okay. again, Max, na happy awan yun na actually ni ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Go for the gold. Because usually sa review center and even sa akadim, pagka magtitik ng board exam, lagi ko naririnig, okay na yan, basta pumasa. So, pag tinatanong ko sila, o oh, anong target mo? Mam, okay na sa akin, basta pumasa. So, para sa akin, pag may gagawin ko sa buhay mo, gawin mo na yung best mo, di ba? Yung parang gagawin mo rin lang, magbibigay ka ng effort, magbibigay ka ng time. Kung nag-review nag center ka, syempre nagbayad ka rin. Pagka nag-register ka sa PRC for the board examination, nagbayad ka rin. So, kailangan, nagkakawin ka na rin lang, hindi bigay mo na yung todo-todong effort mo. So, whatever happens, always put yourself, I put a goal for yourself. Uh, the passing rate ng PRC is 75%, pero bakit naman target mo na yung 75%? What if kumulang yung effort mo sa 75%, di ba? Yeah. <laughs> 0.98 ka, hindi mo pwedeng i-round off yun. So, <laughs> kailangan ng targetin mo yung pinakamataas. Yung iba sa nasabi sa akin, na masyado kasi yung perfectionist. Pero ako, niwala ko. Even though you cannot be perfect, still you need to aim for excellence. Para at least, di ba, kung hindi ka man makakuha ng perfect score, sumabit ka man ng konting-konti, mataas pa rin yung makukuha mo na rating. So, I always say, Kung ano yung effort mo, I, I mean, kung ano yung goal mo or yung target mo, yung effort na ibibigay mo for that thing would be equated dun sa tinarget mo. So, taasan na natin yung ating level of uh, objective for the board examination. So, I say go for the goal talaga pagka kumuha mm -hmm. ng board exam. Yeah, and at, at talagang, at saka yung sinasabi mong go for the good, eh, hindi lang naman siya nag-a-apply when taking board exams, eh. but in yes. general, sa buhay, di ba? Sa lahat talagang, minsan, we have to even, like, take risks, eh, in trying mm -hmm. to achieve this, ano, in trying to achieve this uh, goals that we have set for our for ourselves. Okay. Okay. So, kaya naman, di ba, si Ms. Binga, di ba, she told us earlier that it was really her goal to be a top player, and look at what happened to her, di ba, because of that, Diba? Talagang, she was able to get gold. Pero ano ba siya? Third, so bronze. <laughs> bronze. <laughs> okay. Hindi man ako naka-gold. Naka-bronze ako. Diba? Diba? O, si, 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 si Miss Ia, diba siya ang silver, tama ba? <laughs> Oo, oh, may silver medalist eh. Yeah, okay. Diba? So, yeah, I have to uh, I have to agree with Miss Chino that we really have like to set our limits high. Our high. Diba? Ayan. Sobrang ganda. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ayun. So, usually, uh, the other people would settle for yung mediocre lang na uh, basta okay lang yung rating. But no, kasi kapag ka mataas yung rating mo, meron siya. Halimbawa, gusto mong pumasok sa public school sa Philippines. Ah. <laughs> Ranking ka, merong, uh, merong range dun na, at saka merong uh, uh, corresponding score or point sa ranking mo kapag ka mataas yung rating mo sa board exam. So, hindi ko lang alam yung specific range, pero still, kung mataas yung rating mo, mas tataas syempre yung point mo. Therefore, mas mapaprioritize ka kapag ka nagparank, mas mata magiging mataas ka dun sa ranking mo. Dun ah, sa okay. Hmm. Yes. So, so, maganda pala talagang i-target na mataas ang iyong oh. performance. Maganda ang performance mo sa board exam. Correct. At saka syempre, factor yun for your future employment. Like, for example, ako, um, my experience was, doon sa isang school, di na sabihin yung school, but you know, <laughs> school, school na, na, which was my first employment, by the way. Doon sa school, nasukan ko, ang mga kalaban ko doon, uh, a high school kasi siya. Pero ako, my bachelor's degree was elementary education. 
ang mga kalaban nino. Pero yung mga, rather, yung mga kasabay ko, nung nag-interview, demonstration, ganyan, mga taga magagandang universities, and they're all secondary education graduate. Secondary <laughs> education. So, minsan iniisip ko, naging factor din siguro na merong nakalagay talaga dun sa curriculum vitae ko that I was a top-notcher sa board yeah. examination. So, ano rin, tinitingnan din siguro ng employers because that would be an evidence of uh, kung gano'n ka nagporsige as a professional yeah. teacher. So, I suggest you really go for the gold para sa future mo at saka sa future din ng family mo. True, kasi hindi naman ano yan eh, hindi ka naman magiging top notch ng easy Yes. It means, it, it means you've done something for it, right? Kaya, kaya. So, congratulations, eh. congratulations. Right? At sa ating mga kapitan, so when you take the board exam at kahit anong laban sa buhay, okay, sure. always try to go for the goal. Ayan. Okay. Mm-hmm. Should right. we go to the next part? Okay. Okay. Pero, yan, observe discipline. Ito talaga, kahit nag-review center ka man o nag-self-review ka, sobrang essential ng discipline sa journey mo towards becoming a top-notch in the board exam or a licensed professional teacher and then afterwards. Sobrang malaking factor yung discipline mo sa sarili mo. So I would really suggest that you build a schedule kung kaya review Like for example, um, um, we have different areas sa board examination. We have the professional education, we have general education, and then kapag ka secondary teacher ka or high school teacher ka, meron ka rin na major ship or yung special sure, yeah. oh. So, ang hati niyan, pagka elementary edo ka, yung professional education is 60%, general education is only 40%. So, therefore, I suggest that you focus more on professional education. Di ba? Yes. So, yung mga um, secondary teachers, ang hati niya is gen ed is only 20%, and then your professional education would be 40%, and then yung majorship mo ay 40%. So, I would suggest na give more time sa prof ed at saka dun sa majorship mo. So, depende, depende sa'yo kung saan ka nahihirapan. No? So, um, I would really suggest that you grab yung questions, mag-print ka. Huwag kayo yung online lang ha. Yung mas, mas para sa akin mas okay yung printed out. Mm-hmm. Tapos, yung sarili mo. Kasi diba ang board examination is ano under time pressure ka. So, yeah. yung, hindi lang siya basta kung alam mo eh, pero kung gano'n ka rin kabilis mag-isip, gano'n ka rin mag-analyze. So, I suggest they really observe discipline. So, uh, usually sinasabi ko, huwag kang mag-aaral sa kama. Kasi ang ah. ito. <laughs> <laughs> parang alam ko na kung bakit. Diba, yung kama, parang meron siyang magnet na unti-unti, di ba nakaupo ka lang, tapos maya-maya nagsislide ka na. <laughs> tapos pag mo, wala na, hindi ka na nakapag-aaral. And then, na miss mo na yung another opportunity dun sa day na yun para makapag-review. So again, I suggest that you build a schedule. Tapos, I also suggest fasting sa social media. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. During this time, unless mag-social media ka para tumingin ng mga um, reviews online. Kasi meron naman talagang mga free reviewers online. Pero kung gagawin mo lang is, alam, alam natin yan, di ba? Ang Facebook pagka nag-open ka or ang YouTube, may napanood ka at magdidiridiretsyo na siya hanggang eventually yeah. sa yung oras mo. So, ang sinasabi ko, huwag ka mag-Facebook ngayon na nagpe-prepare ka. Mag-Facebook ka after lumabas yung resulta ng board examination, di ba? That would be the time na mag-screenshot ka na ng pangalan mo dun sa listahan ng pastors, i-post mo sa social media mo and indulge dun sa time na meron ka with social media. So, Pero, uh, wait lang. Alam mo, since nabanggit mo kasi yung, nabanggit mo yung social media, na parang ngayon talaga ang mga tao ay very attached to it. Oh. Hindi ka tulad nung panahon natin. Panahon natin. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Friends per pa, diba? Pero, nung time natin, hindi pa tayo ganun kahook sa social media eh. Oh. Diba? So, so, siguro yung, iba, yung ibang temptation yung mga kinakalaban natin. Pero I have to agree with you na nowadays, iba ang temptation ng social media. Na parang there are people who feel incomplete without checking Facebook, Instagram, or whatever. Sorry, Gracie, pero bago ka ulit mag-continue, meron tayo isa pong nag-moment. Gusto nila mag-shoutout sa'yo? 
Hi yes. to our TV. Proud kami sa'yo. They are from? Uh, that's their business. They are good friends from our church. Ah, uh, really? Hello. Ayan, from Bay. Is that Bay or Bae? Bae, Bae. Bae, Bae Glass. Ang family. Mo. Ayan. Hello po. Welcome po sa Tonight with Teacher Max and thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. So, ayan, uh, thank you po at tayo po ay continue matuto sa ating diskusyon ngayong gabi. Ayan. Sige. So Miss G, ano pa? Ano pang in what ways pa kailangan maging discipline ng I ating uh, test takers? So as I was saying, again, the let capitalizes on speed, accuracy, and then of course your concentration. So para sa akin, you print, dahil um, bawat subject area, you have 150 items to answer mm -hmm. sa actual board exam. So I would suggest na yung mga pinapadrill sa inyo sa review center ninyo o kaya naman yung na-download mo, the reviewer online, Mag-compile ka ng 1 to 150 for Prof. Ed, 1 to 150 for um, Gen. Ed, and then 150 items again for your major majorship. Tapos oorasan mo siya. Mm. Pag nagdi-drill ka sa sarili mo sa bahay, dapat may katabi kang timer. Para at least, di ba, alam mo sa sarili mo kung, uy, natapos ko yung general education for one hour lang. O di at least, pa, alam mo, pagdating sa board examination, sanay na sanay ka na, di ba? So, hindi ka na masyadong mahihirapan mag-cook with the time factor sa board exam. So, yeah. Nang sisabanggit mo yung printing, I remember, hindi siya actually for let eh, but my best friend, uh, he, he took the board exam for nurses. Hmm. Uh, ang, ang naging style naman niya is hindi siya nag-print, pero nagsulat siya sa Manila paper. Yes! Uh -oh. Tapos, nakakalat sa kwarto niya. True, sa, true. Sa wall. So, it might have been helpful for him. Do you suggest that? Oo, ina-advise ko rin yan during the final coaching. Uh, pero as, much, as early as possible, maganda yan. Yung lahat ng mga theories, lahat ng formula, lahat ng concepts na kailangan mong um, balik-balikan. At saka yung medyo mga mahirap sa uluhin, like for example, yung mga RA, mga batas-batas, di ba? Mania yeah. heart for teachers, preamble, kung gusto mo mag so, ulit mo siya talaga sa Manila paper and then ilagay mo siya sa lahat ng mga walls ng kwarto mo. O kaya, bilo ko pa nga minsan sa mga uh, reviewees namin is ilagay mo siya sa harap ng toilet bowl. <laughs> Para, kasi you frequent there eh. Lagi kang nagpupunta doon. So, maganda, lang, maganda rin na mare-remind mo yung sarili mo. Diba? Sabi ni Thorin Tyclo, exercise. The more na napapractice mo, nakikita mo yung stimulus, the more na magiging automatic yung response para sa'yo. True, true. Tapos naalala ko din, although hindi ko to ginawa, pero I remember this was suggested dun sa review center na natendan ko noon, na parang you can also make like um, in a bowl, you, have, you can put like questions, papers, tapos parang everywhere din ilagay mo lang sa bahay mo, uh, sa toilet, punta ka ng, what they call this, punta ka ng ng table, for dining, di ba? So, bago ka kumain, bunot ka ng isa, sagot ka ng isang tanong, di ba? So, I think it will help, no? Lalo na sa retention ng mga bagay-bagay. May nag-comment dito, um, sabi ni Luisa Duque, ayan, and the classic index cards. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> True! Parang thesis days, kasi di ba pagka thesis, parang organized lahat, ini-index card mo siya, so parang maganda rin kasi si Ia, ito, si Ia, si Ia, at saka si Luisa, isang tao lang sila. Ah, talaga? <laughs> oh, pero oh. I'm not sure kung yung asawa niya yung ano, yung asawa niya yung gumagamit ng Luisa Duque. So, anyway, hi Ia. And totoo, pag-organize ka na tao, si Ia kasi talaga yung alam namin na mag-top siya kasi talagang very organized person siya. <laughs> Kinarior. <laughs> maganda rin, may index cards ka for every subject na mabilis lang ma-pull out para at least mariremind mo yung sarili mo sa lahat ng mga kailangan mong pag-aralan. I see. Ayan. And then, siguro, no, part din ng discipline ba yung ano, on the day of the, ano naman, on the day of the test ba? Sabi mo lang ako, kung napapangunahan ko na yung mga sasabihin mo, ha? Hindi, sige, okay. Uh, yung, so, on the day of the test, in what terms kaya should they be disciplined? Actually, hindi ko ina-advise to review on the day itself. Mm -hmm. That will put mental pressure on you. Usually, I say, 
na ang preparation ngayon hindi on the day itself, hindi a few days before the board examination. So you need to be disciplined now. And then a few days before the board exam, I want every reviewee na merong checklist ng things to bring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Para hindi siya yung on the day na paghising mo, in inisip mo nasa na yung pencil mo, nasa na yung, <laughs> nasa na yung mo, di ba? So dapat a few days before, Gawin mo na lahat ng preparations mo para on the day itself, all you need to do is to just smile, wake up, and then just do your thing, di ba? Just yeah. talk to the exam. Yan, al al alam ko meron pang ibang tao, di ba, na parang usually, not only the, parang the night before or the day before, talagang parang it's a time for them to like relax na lang, eh, di ba? Uh -huh. Para get rid of the pressure. Kasi pagka nag-review ng review ka, baka masalo ka ng ano, no? Lalo mo lang makalimutin. Yes. Mm -mm. Marami akong kilala na ang ginagawa nila is gigising ng maaga sa madaling araw, tapos doon sila magre-review. Kaya lang, again, I don't advise that kasi masyadong maaga yung call time for the board exam. Usually, ang call time is 6.30 and I require my reviewees to be there sa testing center ng mga 5.30 para at least magkaroon sila ng time for mind setting. So, masyado maaga yung kung gigising ka pa ng earlier than that, di ba? Yeah. So, 3, 3 a.m. or not. Mga ganun. So, I usually suggest that they review, full blast review, sobrang tagal, early. Para three days before, they can do, like, pamper themselves, magpaspa, magmovie. <laughs> Totoo, mag-get a massage. Para lang matanggal nga yung stress. So, be disciplined as early as possible. Yeah. Ang, ang test ay whole day, di ba? Um, pag or half day? Pagkari education, usually hanggang 2 p.m., 2.30 Pero kapag kagaya mong pinagpala na <laughs> <laughs> education, good luck, hanggang 6.30 p.m. ang board examination. Yeah. So, Alala ko yun eh. Parang mm -hmm. yun. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sige. While answering, talking about discipline, no? pagka alam mo na hindi pa naman time para ipasa yung papel mo, bakit may yeah. papel mo? Yung parang ganun. <laughs> yung iba, parang mamagali. <laughs> parang may taxi. <laughs> parang may taxi naghihintay. This is your board examination. Yung iba kasi yung parang masyadong confident. Parang alam ko na to. This, or yung iba naman, masyadong tamad. Oh, parang ayaw ko ng hirap nito. Tapos nagpasa agad na papel. Oh, parang natatawa ka. Ikaw ba to? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, tinatamaan ako doon sa sinasabi mo. <laughs> ayaw ko ng ganyan. Kasi this is a one-time event. I mean, the result of the board exam could actually define your future. So, yeah. bakit mo mamadaliin? So actually, I remember, kaya ako natatawa, Grace. Kasi di ba, I, I told you earlier, I told everyone earlier na hindi nga ako nag-prepare talaga, na parang easy-easy lang, so basta parang gusto ko nga lang pumasa. So during the day of the board exam, so I answered lahat ng alam ko, tapos yung mga hindi, yung mga hindi ko na alam, ayan, nag-process of elimination, blah, blah, blah. Pero alam mo yun, ako yung tipo kasi na parang mainitin ako. So, <laughs> na parang mas, mas, mas lalong kinakabahan ako na nakikita ko yung papel at alam kong hindi ako mag-issue siya nasasagutan. So, ang actually, ako yung nauuna lagi magpasa. So, yeah. yun, I, I just remember, pero hindi ako nagpapasa para magpasikat kasi talagang feeling ko hindi ko na kaya and parang mas, ma, ma, mas matotorture ko yung sarili ko na nasa akin yung test, yung test paper. Kasi akala nung lahat na ang galing-galing ko. <laughs> kasi parang, ano, sige nung, oh, tapos na siya, parang gano'n, tapos parang, after nga, during the break, pamilya malapit pa sa akin na, uy, tatandaan ko yung pangalan mo kasi baka ikaw yung top natcher. <laughs> 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 hindi nila alam, hindi ko lang talaga alam yung mga sagot. Ayan. So, na, na, ayan. Pero I have to agree with you, no, na we have to at least max, make okay. use wisely. Maximize your time. Yeah, maximize our time and make use of it. During my time, na I can still recall, na during my time, sobrang gusto ko talaga mag-top ng board exam. I really counted ilang yung mga items na sigurado ko. Mm. So, talagang ma-feel na this is it. <laughs> ilang yung sigurado ko sa gen ed, ilang yung sigurado ko sa prof ed, kasi nga elementary education ako, so wala akong major siya. Pero binilang ko, tapos yung mga hindi ako sigurado, tinitigan ko talaga siya. 
And I really wanted to make sure na yung mga hindi ko sigurado, mas mataas pa rin yung probability na tatama ako. Yung parang, yeah. karir ko talaga, wala, karirerang tao talaga ako ever since. <laughs> 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 Ayilig akong mga rear ng mga bagay. <laughs> I wanna, parang, I really want the best out of everything. So, hindi lang ko talaga. Tapos, naalala ko because binila ko ilan yung items na sigurado ko. The time na pinasa ko yung papel ko, hinintay ko talaga na sinabi ng proctor na time is up bago ko binigay yung papel. Tapos nung binigay ko yung papel, paglabas ng hangiti ako, I was really telling myself, magtapak ko. Yung tapang ko, di ba? <laughs> I was really telling myself na hindi ko magtatapak ko kasi parang alam ko yung mga sinagot ko eh. Tapos right after that, ng board examination, I remember na chalik ko talaga kung nakatama ako dun sa mga nakita ko na tanong. And, ano, okay naman, binless naman ang Lord. I think kasi, di ba, God blesses the works of our hands. So, if God knows naman na nag-effort ka, di ba, bibigay niya naman yeah. sa'yo, di ba? Yeah, and, I think that, and I think that's part of being disciplined, eh, na the, being disciplined doesn't stop after taking the test. Correct. Di ba? That, kasi, tingin mo, ginawa mo talaga, you try to check pa, di ba? You try to make sure na you got things correctly. Kasi hindi yung, di ba, yung parang ginawa ko na pagkatas ko sumagot, ipinadag, parang pinagdasal ko na lang. <laughs> so, so, hindi po dapat ganun mga katwitams, ha? So, dapat eh, ang discipline natin ay simula hanggang dulo, hanggang dumating ang resulta. Yes. Ito, yeah. But after one, pag-teacher ka na. <laughs> <laughs> Lagi ko sinasabi, yung ugali mo habang nagre-review ka, yun din yung magiging ugali mo sa board exam. Totoo ba ito <laughs> sa'yo? <laughs> parang totoo ata sa akin. <laughs> Kasi parang yung nag-review center, eto ha, talking, talking sa perspective ng review center, no? Yung iba kasi, di mag-enroll sa review center. Tapos, after magbayad ng enrollment, ng review fee, What they would just do is absent-absent, late ng late, tapos kukuhanin lang yung material. They wouldn't be attending the live lecture. And, and believe me or not, marami talaga dun sa mga ganitong susante. They really did not go through, I, I mean, they really failed dun yeah. sa examination. It's because, again, pag nagbayad ka sa review center, it's not like paying the PRC na ito yung pera ko, yeah. kunin mo, tapos ipasa mo sa board exam. It's not like that. Whether mag-review center ka, or mag-self-review ka, of course, mas maganda mag-review center ka. What matters talaga is yung ugali mo. Yung discipline yeah. mo rin talaga sa pag-review. Yeah, at if I remember it correctly, usually, di ba, pag start, uh, after you, so, kasi, di ba, pwede, I, I remember, I worked already nang, during sa, sa first work ko nung hindi pa ako let passer. Pero mm-hmm. once you become a let passer, meron, ano, itataas yung kweldo mo. Yes, so, that, so, so, that's how important it is. It's very important to really be this. Kasi kung hindi even, na, even sa mga tutorials, mm-hmm. ayan. Kasi if, if not, you will fail talaga, eh, no? <laughs> okay. Okay, excited na ako. Ano kaya ang letter L? Okay. Letter L tayo. Okay, letter L is? Oh, Learn okay. as much as you can. So, Um, the essence for examination for professional teachers, yung LEP natin, or yung LEP sa mga kagaya namin. <laughs> yung LEP is, of course, a test of preparedness. How prepared are you in taking the board examination? Di ba, take ka naman yun. Pag may exam, syempre, mag-aaral ka. Right? So, yung iba kasi, um, nag-prepare sila, pero hindi nila minaximize yung lahat ng resources na meron sila. Um, I will always tell everybody that the board examination for teachers is one of the most difficult board examinations in the Philippines because the other board exams, they know kung ano yung content na yes, yes, yes. Right? For example, um, uh, other professions, kung ano yung pinag-aralan mo nung college ka, yun yung nalabas sa board exam. You know the content. But the board examination for teachers, especially in general education, is sobrang broad. You do not know kung ano yung lalabas. Totoo. Jari, parang naalala ko, may lumabas pa na question na ilang taon na daw yung moon ng Earth. So parang what? Anong relasyon nito sa pagiging teacher? True, true. Siya. At saka may mga questions like, um, ano ang ikinamatay ng nanay ni Maria Clara? You know these yes. questions, you did not learn them from your college Uh, years. Hindi mo yun doon nakuha. Pero, 
again, kung mag- magaling ka na maghanap ng mga resources, I think makakakuha ka talaga ng maraming information. And you don't stop with just one material. For example, even service center, I always tell them, Yes, we provide you with comprehensive, updated materials, but do not be contented with our materials. Since lagi ka rin naman sa social media, merong mga Facebook page, mga groups, social media for those who are taking the board examination. Actually, sobrang laki ng advantage nitong, ano na to eh, nitong mga millennials na to, yes. generation, generation ngayon ng mga new bread na uh, educators natin. Kasi ang dami na nilang access sa mga po pwedeng lumabas sa board examination. So, exhaust all means. Exhaust all resources that you can grab your hands with. Na talagang uh, hanap ka ng mga references. And huwag kang makontento sa isang sagot. Kasi marami akong nakita online, especially na uh, nag-release sila ng list ng questions and then merong mga answers sa baba. Minsan mali yung sagot. Mm, so, yeah. Yeah parang ay ito yung tanong, ito yung magiging sagot. No, hindi mo naman kilala, hindi mo alam kung ano yung credentials ng tao na nagsagot nun. Hindi mo alam baka, di ba, kung saan niya rin lang nakuha yun. Tapos ipagkakatiwala mo yung kinabukasan mo dun, di ba? Sa akin, may, uh, yes po. Um, may question lang ako. Yung, let's say for example, wala siyang access to online resources. Yes. Meron ba siyang mabibiling at least like books or reviewers? Like sa mga bookstores? Sa national bookstore, sobrang dami. So you really need to research kung ano yung magandang mga um, publishing house. I can't say, sorry. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Ang <laughs> um, publishing house, or kung sino mga authors na credible for the review. Pero I would really suggest that you make use of updated materials kasi parang nag-iiba na yung content. Yung content ng time natin, Teacher Max, dun sa let, iba na yung content nila ngayon. Iba oh. na yung ng mga tanong. Iba na yun. Kasi kung babagsak ako ngayon, ha, pag nag... <laughs> <laughs> o, inisip ko nga, siguro kung ako yung magtitake ng board exam, I really do not know whether mag-top pa rin ako or hindi. Pero of course, well naman ang Lord yun, whatever your, ano, yeah. diba, yung kung saan ka maglan. Pero, still, kung may, kung may access ka naman, bakit mo lilimatahan yung sarili mo sa isa o dalawang reviewers lang? So, as much as possible, you learn as much as you can. Kung, Meron ka bang kakilala na previously nag-take ng board exam? Meron ka ng reviewers sa kanya. Di ba? Pwede naman yun eh. Kasi it's very possible na yung lumabas during their time, lumabas din during your time. At least, di ba, parang pag nakita mo yung question na yun, sigurado ka na na makakatama ka kasi lumabas yun during the time na nag-take ng board examination yung colleague mo o yung kaibigan mo, kapatid mo, etc. So, access as many resources as you can. Yun. Learn as much as you can. Ano ang ano? Ano ang advantage? Yeah. Ano ang advantage of going to a review center? Kasi nabanggit nga natin na there are so many available resources online or even like print, di ba? So parang pag gano na parang ititipilin ko na lang yung pera ko dahil I don't really even have to because I remember I paid 4000 pesos noon sa review center. I remember. Hindi ko alam kung magkano na. Pwede ba natin malaman kung magkano na ngayon? Sa nagre-range? All right. Uh, I'll just get the um, usually, mas mababa yung review fee ng elementary education because, of course, you'd have to pay for the majorship sessions. Yes. Yeah. So, elementary education, usually, that would range from 5,000 to 10,000. And then, sa... Ilang, se- ilang sessions na yan? Um, we have 12 live lectures kasi 12 yung subject areas for um, gen ed and prof ed. Tapos, we usually give majorship sessions. Depende yun sa review center kung ilang majorship sessions yung gusto nilang ibigay. And aside from those, we also have the, what we call mock board examination. Yeah. And they would be shading actual scantron sheets. Yung kung ano yung kita natin sa uh, board exam. Para at least, kasi di ba yung kaba ng iba, it's not just, alam ko ba, kundi yung mapapasa kaya ng machine yung yeah. shade. Hindi ka pa nagkakita ng anxiety before. <laughs> Kasi isa yun sa mga pinag-isipan ko during that time. So we have mock board and wherein isa-sign nila talaga yung actual board exam na naka-attire talaga sila and may timer, etc. And then aside from those, we also have the what we call final coaching. 
eto yung pag sinabing final coaching, pagandahan lahat ng review center. Yung parang, yeah. ito, parang competition. Yes, <laughs> yes. Salipin, ganun. Kasi Sa pride, pride, pride din ng review center eh. Pag marami siya na review oh, sa oh. adverse. O kaya 100% ang kanyang passing rate, no? Yes, oo. Oh, oh. When we say final coaching, eto, ilalabas na ng mga review center yung mga natatago nilang bala. Meaning yung mga nakuha nila ng mga items, mga na-compile nila na pwedeng uh, lumabas sa actual board examination. So, uh, in total, usually, ha? So, 12 plus, siguro mga nasa 20 sessions, around 20 sessions, you'll be paying for 20 sessions. Pero, should I answer na? Yung kung yes, yes. ng self-review and nag like, yeah. center. So, pag self-review, that's okay, of course. Maganda naman yun kasi lalo na kung wala kang budget to pay sa review center. But malaki yung edge pag nag-review center ka. One is if you're not a very disciplined person, mapipilitan kang mag talaga because you've paid for the review yeah. session. Sayang, di ba, pag ka umaten. Kasi pag nag-self-review ka lang, ang tendency, dahil wala kang binigay, di ba gano'n naman sa buhay? Wow, hugot to ah! <laughs> Kaya nagmamahal mo si G eh. <laughs> Oo, di ba gano'n sa buhay? Pagka wala kang ibinigay na sakripisyo, hindi mo siya maa-appreciate, hindi mo pahahalagahan yung bagay na yun. But because sa review center, dahil nagbigay ka ng something, kakaririn mo siya. And uh, yun yung one. If you're you're not very disciplined, madidisciplina ka sa loob ng review center because meron siyang time frame. Mm. Um, may mga days na allotted for different subject areas. So number one, you'll mapipilita ka to discipline yourself. Number two, um, they provide updated materials. Of course, ikaw, as a private person, you don't have as much access to <clears throat> the, excuse me, to the different LET materials. The review centers, they have a pool of researchers for that. So, meron silang mga nag-gather na materials. Meron silang tinatawag na test bank. Mm, so, yeah. mm-hmm. yes, nandiyan lahat ng mga previously lumabas ng mga tanong and Usually, ito rin naman yung lumalabas sa mga board exams kung hindi nagpalit yung ating board. So, access to materials. Number three is, of course, iba yung merong live lectures. I don't know if you're with me on this, pero hindi kasi ako masyadong mabasa na tao. Even Edgar yeah. Dale, one of experiences, di ba? When you read, only 10% will be retained. Pero if you attend live lectures, there will be Q&A sessions, there will be auditory. Siyempre, mag-listen ka, mag-highlight ka. And because maganda naman, experts yung kaharap mo, hindi ka magdududa dun sa sinasabi nila. Yeah. So lahat ng doubts mo, no? Masasagot. Um, correct, correct. Yung mga tanong mo, unlike yung kapag ka ikaw sa sarili mo lang, di ba? Pag may tanong ka, nag-research ka, magugulan ka kasi ang daming mga sagot. Pero pag nasa researcher ka, nagtanong ka dun sa lecturer, masasagot niya agad based on his or her expertise. So, yeah. mag yun. mag center ka for that. Number four is, meron kang mga kasama sa journey mo. Yeah. Like, kami makaka-relate sa'yo sa lahat ng mga pinagdadaanan mo. Kasi pag nag-self-review ka, di ba, kung ikaw lang yung teacher sa pamilya, ano naman ang alam ng nanay mo, tatay mo dun sa <laughs> pinagdadaanan mo? They just know that you're going to take the board exam. But if you enroll in a review center, you wouldn't feel alone in the journey. In fact, they, they become source of your strength. Kasi ba sa review center, parang sabay-sabay kayo, parang kang nag-enroll ulit sa panibagong school. Yes, yes. Madi-discover mo na, ah, ako, nanay ako, nagtitik ako ng review. Parang pag ikaw, mag-self-review ka lang, maawa ka sa sarili mo kasi meron akong asawa, meron akong anak, tapos magre-review pa ako. Pero pag nagpunta ka sa review center, makikita mo na, ay, Meron din palang kagaya ko na, uy, siya, solo parent siya, pero ang galing niya sa review. O kaya, uy, siya, ano, naglalakad siya ng ganitong kalayong kilometro para makarating dito, pero ako, hindi naman ako, may inspire mo yung sarili mo, kung yeah. ba, when you get in the review center. So, maganda yun, marami ka kasama sa journey. And I yeah, always, and like, uh, yes. Sorry, and it's like, ano, eventually, no, it's a way for you to develop friendships, eh. Yes, oo. Okay. Diba? Mm-hmm. Maganda rin yun kasi parang I always say na your friends would define you. Your rating in the board exam would actually be affected with the friends that you're with, with the company that you're with. Mm-hmm. Example, sa amin lang ha, sa amin mag-tropa, ito sila Iya, sila Luisa, Duque, sila Jay, 
At uh, yung mga friends ko, ikwento ko lang ng saglit, no? Yeah, sure, sure. Go ahead. My classmates. Top one, Macy and Angelo. Both are my classmates. Top two was my anak-anakan. Ito si Luisa, Ia, Marcelo. Ang tawag sa kanya is Bunso. Mm. So, namin na talagang nangangarir <laughs> sa review. <laughs> was my other best friend. Actually, parang nauumay kami pag sinasabi namin na best friend, but we know that we are best friends, si Jerry, si Aretha, at saka ako. Imagine that! Tapos, top four was my other best friend, Joseph Randolph Palatao. Top four siya, ha? Tapos, top five, top six, sila Ate Nenet, sila Roda, sila, um, sino pa ba na nagtop? <laughs> si so, so, ang dami namin na nagtop. So, lagi naming sinasabi, na maha-apektuhan talaga yung rating mo dun sa mga tao na kasama mo. So, if you are in a review center and you surround yourself with people who are also dedicated sa pag yeah. or sa pagpasa sa board examination, your energy, hindi siya magkukulang. Tsaka, pero palaging may mag-check sa'yo, oh, naaral mo na ba to? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> diba? Kasi dun sa mag-isa ka lang. <laughs> iba, iba yung influence, eh, no? Na parang you are you become more motivated and encouraged eh. Kasi parang, yes. ayaw mo siyempre magpaiwan. Yes, oo. May mga competition pa yan sila na malalaman namin na parang, halimbawa, nagpa-drill kami. Tapos, uy, ilan, ikaw, ano nakuha mo? Tapos makikita mo rin na, halimbawa, meron kasi mga nag-review na medyo matagal na silang graduate. Mm-hmm. And I would say that they're at a great disadvantage compared with those who are re- who, who have just recently graduated. Kasi di ba kapag medyo matagal ka na nag-graduate, ang dami pa nang nakalimutan na concepts. Yes, yes. Mga, hindi mo na sila maalala. Yung math formula, hindi mo na maalala. And yung mga medyo may edad, when they go in the review center, usually they find friends who are younger. No, yung mga bagong graduate, mga bagong sibol natin na mga... Yeah. <laughs> and then you will see them exchanging their opinions, exchanging answers. Kasi itong mga ano, itong mga newly grads, magaling sila sa konsepto. Magaling sila sa subject area, general education. Pero itong mga ano, mga sabihin natin na survivors. <laughs> All these. <laughs> Yung mga medyo may edad na, magaling sila sa experience. So, yes, yes. Kasi it's situational. So you can see them talaga na nagbabatuhan ng tanong sa isa't isa and then they're sharing kung ano yung sa tingin nila na tamang sagot. And hindi mo yung makukuha kapag ka nag-self-review ka. Yeah. So, yun, in air center. Yeah. Ang ganda ng fusion, no? Nung, ng old and new. Kasi talaga, yeah. it, it, ano eh, parang both ways merong tulong na naibibigay sa isa't isa. True, Ayan. true. <laughs> okay. Nangayon, punta na tayo sa letter D. Okay, letter excited na ako. Ano kaya ang letter D? Okay. Yan. Do your best and God will do the rest. Ano ba pinag It's true. You do your best, God will do the rest. Diba? Sabi, faith without works is nothing. Nada. Wala kang mapapala dyan. So, of course, you need to really give it your best shot. Pero, mind you, sa experience ko, so sobrang tagal ko na sa review center, I encountered a lot of people who are really good in terms of academics. They're intelligent people. Sometimes um, they're cum laude, merong mga Latin honors, but they eventually fail the board examination. And sometimes it makes them, paano ba yun? Depressed? Yeah. Pa- hope na parang they, they would really cry na bakit nangyari. Kasi syempre kung halimbawa, binigay mo naman yung effort mo, no? Nag-aral ka naman. Magaling ka naman during the review sessions, active ka. Pero bakit nag-fail ka pa rin? I will always say that it will still be God who will decide whatever the result would be in the board examination. And I will always say minsan, effort, pero minsan pa na panahon lang yan. Na yung yeah. parang Ngayon, hindi ka nakapasa. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na sa susunod, hindi ka rin ulit papasa. I mean, your failure, it does not define who you are. Yeah, so, it doesn't mean you're not a good person. It doesn't yeah, mean you're not a good person. Oo. Yung parang, yung iba kasi parang, they really, ano ba yun? Yung parang dinidibdib talaga nila. Na parang, uh, nag-fail siya sa board exam, na parang mag-fail ka na rin ba sa entire life mo? Dahil nag-fail ka lang once sa board exam. Mind you, sa so tagal ko po service center, I encountered people na 10 times sila nag-board exam before sila nakapasa. Imagine that! 
So, ano ang ibig sabihin nun? Talagang ang pumaba sa yung dedicated talaga. Yes. And then, even sa real life, no? Sa real life application natin, na sa lahat ng trials sa life mo, di ba? Binsang nadapa ka, iti dust your knees. Tapos, magpatuloy ka lang. So, just, yeah. uh, naisip mo na, oy, bumagsak ako. Dahil bumagsak ako, mas malaki yung chance ko na mag-top ako sa susunod na board exam. Kasi alam ko na yeah. yung <laughs> kasi recently, kumuha ko, hindi, totoo yan, recently, kumuha ko ng board exam. So, alam ko na yung, alam Ooh. ko na yung item. So, this time, alam ko na kung ano yung aaralin ko. At saka makikita mo kasi yung rating mo after the board exam eh. Yeah, so you should be at an advantage nga eh. Kasi alam mo na kung saan ka magpo-focus. Correct, Kasi ang maganda sa, if I remember it correctly, ang maganda sa rating ng LEP, they don't just give you the tot, the average ng buong test, di ba? But they give you like, what you got for prof ed, what you got for your measurership, blah, blah, blah. Correct. Okay. So at least, di ba, right, parang learning, ano din, learning experience din sa'yo. Actually, kapag mga pumasa ka this time, di ba, parang, ano ba ako, nag-top notch ka, mas malaking, ano, maganda yung testimony ng buhay mo. Mas <laughs> May, nag-i-invite minsan ng mga review centers ng mga tipong 10 times na siya, bago nakapasa. And then, other people would really be amazed na parang, wow, ang pagkuha pala talaga ng board exam, it's not just a one-shot deal na parang yeah. kapag pagsaka, ibig sabihin, pagsaka na your entire life. No. Kasi ang board for teachers, as of now, ha, wala pa siyang limit. <laughs> so, yeah, these people become sources of inspiration. Yes, true. Yeah. Na parang, not just sa board exam, but in real life. So, sinasabi ko usually, if this is your first time, second time, third time, fourth time, tenth time, twentieth time mo magtitake ng board exam, always remember that if this is your twentieth time, declare to yourself that this would, this would be the last time that you will be taking the board yeah. exam. No? So, parang just really do your best and pray so hard na talagang lahat ng effort mo would eventually be worth everything. Yeah. And I think that when we say God here, we don't limit it to Catholicism only, di ba? Like, yeah. whoever, whoever your God is, right? Whoever your God is, whatever religion you have, di ba? Or if you're like, atheist ba, tawag doon, na wala kang God, di ba? Yeah. <laughs> Pero, but, yeah. With whatever faith you have, di ba? You just have to believe, di ba? Na, He will do everything for you. Oh, I'm sure you're talking about something, ano ka lang, point of view. Yes, so, and at the same time, yung faith mo rin sa sarili mo, I think, is very important. Yeah, oh, Kasi kung hindi, yeah, kung hindi ka rin naniniwala sa sarili mo na pumasaka or papasaka, I think malaki rin ang mangyayari na hindi ka talaga papasay. No? Oh, minsan, sinajoke ko nga sila. Sabi ko, pagkatapos ng review session ko, ah, gusto ko pag-uwi nyo sa bahay, humanap kayo ng salamin. Tapos talagang titigan mo sa sarili mo. <laughs> Tigil mo yung sarili mo sa salamin. You really declare to yourself that you are worthy of becoming a licensed professional teacher because kapag puro doubts ka lang makaklaud yung reasoning mo eh di ba yung yeah. parang iba yung optimist ka iba yung pessimist ka iba yung magiging rating ng pessimist sa magiging rating ng optimist yung yes. parang uh, um specifically sa mathematics gusto mo ba yan sir max no i don't like mathematics <laughs> <laughs> Kasi maraming takot sa math. Laging mga reviewers nagtatanong, Ma'am, ilang items ba yung math sa yeah, ano? Yeah. Or, um, baka doon yun yung ikabagsak nila. Kasi syempre, pagka nag-review ka sa review center, we give the entire day for math alone. Sometimes, dalawang araw pa for the mathematics. Pag nakita mo parang, ay ba parang hindi ko to alam, parang hindi ko to kaya, parang sa board exam, hindi ko kaya ang gawin to. I always say na ang math and any subject, hindi siya sinusukuan. Kasi ang maganda nga sa mathematics, eksakto siya. So parang, yeah. gawin mo yung best mo hanggang hindi mo nakikita na yung sagot mo ay wala dun sa choices. Paikot-ikutin mo yung item, di ba? I-add mo, i-subtract mo, i-multiply mo lahat ng formula na alam mo. Ibigay mo siya dyan kasi nga, eventually, makukuha mo rin yung tamang sagot, di ba? Yeah. Effort lang. Yeah. Okay, so mga katwitams, baka meron kayong mga gustong itanong kay Miss Grace, kay Miss G about test taking techniques, okay? Ito na yung oras sa inyo para i-comment ito para naman, di ba, i-entertain natin yung mga questions ninyo. Yes. Pero bago sila, unahin ko na, meron akong sariling tanong. <laughs> wow, okay. scary. Okay, kasi di ba ang alam naman natin na ang let, um, usually ang board exam ay multiple choice, di ba? Yes, ako. Uh-huh. Yeah, na kanina nabanggit ko yung process of elimination. Yes, so, yes. can you, ano lang, give more 
ideas sa ating mga viewers what do we mean by process of elimination saka parang ano ba talaga yun kasi for example hindi ko talaga alam yung sagot I really have no idea sa question I really have no idea sa mga sagot so what could be a tip that you could give me na syempre hindi ko naman siya dapat hindi i-leave it blank diba so parang is there ano ba meron bang tinuturo ang mga review center na parang the right way of guessing Oh, uh, yeah, sa review center, iba-iba depende rin sa nagbibigay ng tips. No? Pero uh, this is my, these are my personal techniques sa pagsasagot ng multiple choice item type of test. Because yung iba, minamaliit nila yung multiple choice kasi daw at least pwede ka makacham na. Yeah. But I think that, and even sa education, di ba, sinasabi natin, multiple choice item types of examination are one of the most difficult. Yes, yes, agree. Uh, Alam mo na yung sagot, but because there are other options na parang ito rin yung sagot, nalilito pa pa. So yung binagit mo kanina na power of elimination is a very good um, technique in terms of getting the correct answer or analyzing the items in the board examination. So how do we eliminate? Usually, sa board exam, we only have four choices, A, B, C, and D. Pero lately, may lumabas na E, but mm. I say that Yung E kasi is yung parang none of the above. None of the um, options. I usually say it na for me, personally, I wouldn't go with E because it is a board examination after all. Bakit ka naman magbibigay ng tanong na wala namang sagot? No? So, para sa akin, you go with the best possible option. So how can you go with the best possible option? If you have A, B, C, and D as your options, nalilito ka is because maraming pagpipilian. So, how do you eliminate yung ating mga options? First is you look at the stimulus material. So, when we say, yung technical, you know? Yeah. When we say stimulus material, usually kasi kapag a problem about or problem or item that deals with analysis, parang silang binibigay na yung statement ba? Yung yes. sense na declarative sentence. And then after that, merong stem. Yun yung pinaka-question. So I usually tell them na kailangan magbilog kayo ng mga clues, yung keywords na tinatawag natin. No? So bilogan mo yung keywords, tapos balikan mo yung stimulus material, uh, yung yung stem rather. Ano yung hinihingi dun sa stem? Tapos A, B, C, D, nakita mo, ay yung A parang wala na siya kinalaman. Hindi na siya sinabi sa stimulus material. So i-X mo na siya. By the way, hindi mo siya i-X doon sa answer sheet. Yes. <laughs> I ex mo siya dun sa iyong test items dun sa yes. test book rather yung kung nasan yung mga tanong wag sa answer sheet <laughs> I ex mo siya dun sa test booklet mo so tanggal na siya so you're down to 3 nakita mo ay yung letter B ah, parang ano hindi rin siya yung tamang sagot so I ex mo siya you're down to 2 diba mas mabilis mag-isip ng tamang sagot kapag dalawa lang yung pagpipilian mo so that's called process of elimination. Even in real life, kapag maraming nandiligaw sa'yo, nalilito ka kasi ano mong options. Para, para pala itong para itong 50-50 pala ng who wants to be a millionaire. Kaya, 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 hindi, hindi siya. Ba't mo pa siya i-entertain? Nakakagulo lang siya sa isip mo. Just the same. Sa board exam, sa apat na yan, kung may dalawa na hindi naman talaga siya, ba't mo pa siya i-entertain? Tanggalin mo na siya para maging clear yung iyong thoughts. Mm. Paano hindi mo alam? Yan ang malaki. <laughs> sa ano ba? Sa board exam ba may true or false? Um, actually, the health for yung options, this could be true, true, tapos meron lang silang magkaiba na dahilan kung bakit true yung statement. Ah, meron pa rin ba dyan yung parang mayroon yung four statements na parang ang, at tapos ang choices mo, A and B are true, or only B is true, ganyan. Ah, yes. Meron, meron pa rin ganyan. So, ano, ano, ano din ang, ano, usually, anong tips ang pwede mong ibigay sa mga, pagdating naman sa true or false? Yung, uh, i-ano ko na dun sa yung may mga Roman numerals, kumbaga, yung parang one, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yung usually, yung A, B, C, D, tapos yung option A mo is one only, yan, 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 yeah, yan. Yeah. One only, tapos two only, one, two, three. Kausapin mo yung sarili mo. You may look crazy. <laughs> but you try to talk to yourself. Discuss with yourself. This is called metacognition, by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ano naman to? Um, very technical na yung metacognition. But make sure that you play the role of 
a devil's advocate wherein you ask yourself, bakit hindi ito? Actually, ang, 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 sina, ang sinasabi ko sa kanila, don't ask yourself, bakit ito? Kasi fixed mindset na yun eh. Parang sinasabi mo na sa sarili mo, ito yung tamang sagot. Hindi. Dapat ang itanong mo sa sarili mo is, bakit hindi ito? Para matanggal. Bakit hindi ito? Tanggalin mo siya. Tapos nakita mo dun sa 1, 2, 3, ay yung 1, parang imposible ito eh. Tanggalin mo siya. Para at least, makikita mo kung alin talaga yung magiging correct answer. Tama ba na ano, hindi uh, hindi ko maalala kung saan ko to nabasa before na pero usually pag yung statement ay naglalaman ng more specific na details mas malaki mas malaki yung possibility na siya ay isang true na statement over a sentence na medyo vague yung, uh, medyo general yung meaning meron bang ganun that would only apply if they are equally plausible options. Mm-hmm. Ina kasi kagaya, like before na sa atin, yung prof, it is very obvious yung answers. Yes, no, yes. not anymore. Ngayon, sobrang possible na two or three options ay plausible. Mm-hmm. So, apply yung sinasabi po ni Teacher Max, yung sinasabi nyo, na you choose the more specific one. For example, um, sinabi doon sa isa, yung uh, classical conditioning, for example. Ito, yeah, yeah. Si, kanyari, kla, kanyari lang pa, classical conditioning. Pero dito nakalagay, um, ang nakalagay, uh, Ivan Pavlov's theory on classical conditioning that involves, syempre, doon ka na sa mas specific. Because yeah, both yeah, of yeah. them are possible. Mm-hmm. Doon lang ka po pwede mag-apply. I see. Ito, ito medyo, ito medyo, ito medyo nakakatawang question, pero, Pumasok talaga na sa isip ko eh na di ba ang required na pencil na gagamitin ay Ayos. number number 2 ba? Number 2. Number 2. So pagka talaga bang gumamit ka ng ibang number eh hindi siya babasahin ng machine or meron ba meron ka na bang na-encounter na ganung ano? Wala pa naman so far kasi parang bakit mo yung gagawin? <laughs> <laughs> Kasi nga, discipline dapat eh. No, kasi sa, ano, I mean, service center, ano, during the final coaching, sinasabi namin, things, you take a, you take um a picture ng lahat ng mga kailangan mong um, dalhin at gamitin. During the mock board, we also tell them, and we explain why number two, no? So, para lang masagot yung tanong, bakit number two? Yeah, o nga, bakit ba number two? Right. Number one. It has a darker shade of black. Mm. Ang pinabasa ni Scantron machine is yung shade mo. So, yun yung pagka lighter, yung pagkakashade mo, ang tendency, akala ni machine, hindi ka nagsagot dun sa item na yun. That's why um, number two, yung pencil mm. na ginagawa. Others would ask, um, Mongol ba? Mga <laughs> ganyan na Oh nga, gusto ko itanong niya. Ay lagad bang mongol? Stedler ba? Stabilo? Mechanical pencil? Um, Ako personally kasi, I, I always say na I speak through experience. So, ang mga nir- ang nire-recommend ko lang, yung ako, ginamit ko. O yung mga kakilala ko na nag-top din sa board exam, ginamit na lang. Ako personally, I used mongol number two. Because, I think the general public, mas may access sa mongol number two. So, Kung gusto mo na mag-stabilo, kasi nauso rin ngayon si Stabilo, Stedler na pencils number two na nakalagay ng grade. Mas, mas mahal yan, di ba? Si eh, mas mahal yan. Hindi, so pagbigyan natin <laughs> siya. <laughs> Pero still, we tried that. Nababasa naman siya ng machine. So no problem with that. As that the pencil number is two. Okay, so nabagit mo yan. Okay, before we, oh my God, naka 1 hour and 17 minutes na pa na tayo. Sa isa yan, <laughs> ano yung mga very, ano, since nabagit mo yan, can you share with us, meron ka na bang mga very weird questions na naitanong sa'yo sa review center? Yes, oo. Oh, oh. um, <laughs> Nahalimutan ko lang yung part na yan, pero good thing na paalala mo yan. Weird beliefs, weird questions, sa pag-take ng board exam, naka, it will take another hour. Joke lang. <laughs> Pero weird beliefs muna tayo, ha? Pero ang yeah. namin, as in Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, they have this different beliefs sa pag-take ng board examination. By the way, yung mga nag-take sa Luzon, 
um, they have leaves sa Mindanao, they also have theirs. We respect all of those, pero share ko lang ng content. First time ko nag-review sa board examination, I think this was in Cagayan de Oro. May lumapit sa akin na teacher, tapos sabi niya sa akin, Ma'am, pwede po ba magpatasa ng pencil? To have her and a pencil sharpen. Sabi ko, bakit? Isip-isip ko, of course, out of courtesy, kinuha ka naman si pencil. Pero isip-isip ko, marami naman si mom. Ang kamad naman ito. <laughs> Pinitasan niya ng pencil. But of course, I sharpened the pencil. And then pagbalik ko sa kanya, sabi niya sa akin, Ma'am, kasi may paniniwala po sa amin na kapag yung pencil na ginamit mo sa board examination ay tinasahan ng isang tao na nag-top sa board exam, baka mangyari oh. sa'yo. And, <laughs> <laughs> na should I share ko yung kwento na yan usually sa final coaching I get parang boxes of mongo <laughs> and then I told them sana meron kayong mechanical na sharpener pero yan one belief another belief would be oh wait question uh, Sige, did you ever know kung kumasa ba siya or did she report Actually, to you? Actually, parang may message sa akin na nagtasa ako ng pencil and then they would tell me, Ma'am, ako yung nagpatasa ng pencil sa'yo. Nakapasa na po ako, ganyan. And I was like, ilan kayong nagpatasa ng pencil sa <laughs> I actually can't remember you anymore, pero please pumasaka. And I, I really told her ha, or him how proud I am. Pero lagi kong sinasabi, okay, huwag masasabihin na pumasaka dahil sa nagtasa ako ng pencil. Yeah. Magalit si Lord. <laughs> ano, naging charmer or something. Pero I I respect their belief. So, ayan. May mga ganyan mga instances naman. Another would be to wear anything red during the board exam. Have you heard of that? No, no, no. Interesting. Yan. Ito. Ewan ko kung saan nakuha to. Maybe sa kung soy. <laughs> uh, and and dahil narinig talaga na underwear or socks. You, you wear, have to wear? You have to wear. wear. You wear something red. It makes you lucky daw. Sabi ko, sige, bakit? Pagka ba nag-underwear ka na red, yung underwear ba ang kukuha ng board exam? <laughs> 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 Hindi naman, diba? So, sige, ayan. Yung iba naman sabi nila, pag, ano, pag, daw, pag pinasa mo na yung papel mo, tapos lalabas ka na dun sa examination room mo, sipain mo daw yung silya. Narinig mo na yun? No. Yes, I have centers. Ganito talaga sabi nila. Sipa, baliin mo daw yung pencil mo. Sipahin mo daw yung upuan mo. Kasi parang symbolism daw yun na hindi ka na uulit-ulit ng board exam. Mm, ay, magandang ano yun ah. <laughs> Ayun. Parang, parang ako masaka. Sipahin mo yung upuan mo. Sabi ko, ganyan pala usapan. Huwag mo sipahin. Baklasin mo na. <laughs> Pero silang sinasabi natin, they have a lot of beliefs. But I always tell them, in taking the board exam, sa opinion ko lang, of course, is you only need two things to come out successfully in the board exam. Is One is, of course, strong faith in the Lord. And then the second one is, of course, you do your best in taking the board exam. Yeah. Parang ano lang yan eh. Ito lang yan, guys. Eh. Mga katikos, eh. Parang you really have to come prepared. You don't go in a battle na wala kang uh, daladalang bala. Yes. Di ba? So, ganun lang yan. Okay. So, Maraming maraming salamat, Miss G. Sobrang Thank daming you. maraming salamat. I-review lang natin ulit ang gold. Okay? So, G is? Go for the gold. Yes. O is? Observe discipline. <laughs> Para teacher na teacher talaga. Oh. Eh. L is? Learn as much as you can. And? And D? D is do your best and God will do the rest. Yes. Ayan. So, sana mga tukatwi items ay marami kayong natutunan today. Okay, so, syempre, gusto rin natin i-share sa kanila, Grace, ang, okay, eto. Ayan, ang smart, how do you say it? Smart kaayo. Ah, smart Because, kaayo, yeah. When we say kaayo, it means sobra. Mm, okay, so, what is smart kaayo? Please, uh, please promote. Uh, this is the official YouTube channel of Smart and Super Gems. So, this is their uh, our, sorry, this is yeah. our <laughs> official, sorry naman. This is our official YouTube channel. So if they want drills, so far we have um, a completed drill for English na merong questions and answers. You can visit that. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, para ma-practice mo rin yung sarili mo. You can be subscribed for, to Smart Cafe Online. Ayan. <laughs> thank and you, thank you. I also have a YouTube channel. 
Yes. Uh, yeah. Please, 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 please promote your YouTube channel. And of course, um, you... yes, go ahead. Mas active ako sa Facebook. Sorry po, pero I also have a YouTube channel. Um, I also plan to make it more active habang naka-quarantine pa. Well, I'm not yet too busy with lectures. So, kindly subscribe to Nagmamahal Miss G. Yun din, Miss G sa YouTube. And then, Nagmamahal Miss G rin sa Facebook. If you have time, that's uh, yung mga channels ko or yung page ko. Nakafocus siya sa um, who gods for teachers, spoken poetry, um, a few comedy acts that I can think of, but I'm not sure what they're doing. But please like, follow, and subscribe. Ayan, okay. So thank you, thank you very much, Ms. Julia. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So much, I really enjoy it. Because it's been a long time since we've been talking about it. And it's so nice, very educational for our reunion. Wow. Yeah. And maraming maraming salamat sa ating mga kapitams na nag-attend today. Lalo na sa iyong mga friends na nanonood. And at the same time, ating mga colleagues din na katulad ni, ni Ma'am Hilario. Okay? So, any final words for your followers? Huwag silang magsawa. Joke. <laughs> no, thank you so much for the opportunity to really um, hear me out. I, hindi ko talaga inasahan na uh, I'd have so many followers. I don't really consider myself as an influencer. Uh, I'm just sharing, siguro yung mga usual din na, na eh, experience ng ating mga kaguroan. So, kaya siguro nakarelate sila. But, thank you so much. And thank you also, Sir Max, Teacher Max, for inviting me. Parang, yes. sabi ko na parang yung ibang mga live niya, sabi, ay, parang hindi ako karapat dapat. <laughs> But thank you so much. I the best for your YouTube channel. Yeah, I really learned a lot today. That's why I really thank you. Okay, so mga kapit times, magsay goodbye naman tayo kay Miss G at maraming maraming salamat sa oras na binigay niya sa atin today. Thank you very much, Miss G. Thanks. Bye bye. Okay, wag kamo nang aalis sa. Okay, yes. Okay, so mga kapit times, maraming maraming salamat ulit sa panonood ng Tonight with Teacher Max. Okay, so kung hindi ka pa nakapag-like, share, at subscribe sa akin channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me just share um, the Travel Guru Incorporated. Alam ko, quarantine time pa ngayon. Pero right after the quarantine, at may plans na kayo mag-travel, this is the a play, uh, a travel agency that could really help you. They really have affordable rates. Kaya naman, pag kami gusto nyo pumunta uh, somewhere else domestically or internationally, please, Visit the Travel Guru Incorporated at meron silang YouTube channel and please subscribe to their channel. Ayan. So muli, maraming maraming salamat mga kapitams. I hope nag-enjoy kayo at natuto sa Tonight with Teacher Max. And I hope to see you sa susunod nating programa kung saan eh hindi pa natutuloy yung ating interview with the frontliners. Medyo nakakaproblema lang sa schedule. Pero matutuloy at matutuloy din yan. So muli, maraming maraming salamat and just like what I always say, Okay, teka lang, mayroon pang humabol na comment. Okay, nandiyan si Mr. Jerry Areta. Hi, Sir Jerry. Sa ibigan ata ni Mrs. Ray. So, hello. Thank you very much po for joining us today. So, just like what I always say, please continue to stay healthy and safe and enjoy life and live life to the max. See you in next in the next vlog and in the next tonight with Mr. Max. Bye!